Hey everybody, welcome back to Rob on Bikes. So today I thought it was a good time to take a look at my camera setup um, and if there is a way I can get better footage to share on this channel. So up till now I have been using the Chesty with a GoPro to get footage. Uh, Chesty is just GoPro's version of a chest mount where you can attach a GoPro. Uh, you take these straps, you put it on over your head, it's around your shoulders, on your chest, and that along with the built-in image stabilization that is really top-notch on GoPros, uh, you get very stable, smooth point of view footage while you're out mountain biking. So the Chesty is very popular for capturing footage while mountain biking. Um, there are other benefits of this setup as well, which I'll go over a little bit in this video. One thing I don't like, one big drawback of this is when you are coming into a turn and you go around a turn real quick, the footage gets choppy. It's like the, the frame rate can't keep up with how quick the GoPro is panning. Since it's always going straight ahead as you turn, <clears throat> I find myself straining to kind of like look past the side of the frame because that's where I want to see. I want to see the trail. And so it just makes for kind of an uncomfortable viewing experience. And so today I want to take a look at another option to see how it compares. And that is the full face helmet with the chin mount. Let's check it out. Okay, first thing, and most importantly, let's take a look at some footage. Now, these clips come from a slower moving, snowy winter fat bike ride. Uh, and I only mention that because once dirt season rolls around, we're gonna be moving faster, and I think the differences we see uh, in the footage here today are gonna be even more exaggerated. So keep that in mind as we go through this video. Now on straight sections of trail, I don't think we're gonna see much different. Both of these options, the chest mount or the chin mount, are gonna be pointing straight ahead at the trail. Both are gonna perform well. All right, cameras are synced up, chesty on the left, chin mount on the right. Both do well here on a straightaway, but what jumped out at me is the angle. The horizon is positioned nicely on the upper third for the chesty, while it's way up high on the chin mount. Since the chesty is positioned lower on your body, it will be much easier to get this set up properly. With the chin mount, there's a way thinner margin of error. It can be quite challenging to balance out getting the horizon lined up well and your bike, which you definitely want for a point of view video. I kept seeing this issue too, where the picture just didn't feel balanced, and it fluctuates a lot more with the chin mount. As we move on to some twistier sections, you can start to see the value of the chin mount, as it keeps a very smooth feel to the video. Now this is the chesty, and as I work around the twists of the trail, right there especially, uh, so does the camera, makes for some shakier footage. So same shot here, but with the chin mount. So smooth, the head stays fixed as the bike navigates the trail below. Another look synced up. That's a great example of how the chin mount can really smooth things out. And finally, onto some sharper turns. This is the chin mount. And you can see my head is looking into the turn. It feels pretty smooth. The trail is never really too far out of frame. Same turn with the chesty. And yeah, okay, it just feels like I'm gonna go off the trail, just straight through the turn. I mean, the trail's mainly out of frame. I don't know, it just feels uncomfortable. All right, and sticking to footage here for a little longer, when you go on a mountain bike ride, it's inevitable that you're gonna wanna look around, take in your surroundings. Now with the chin mount, that's a problem. If I wanna look at something, it's distracting from what I wanna be showing, which is the trail, in front of my bike. With a chest mount, that's not a problem. I can bike around, I can, I can look at things that I see off, off the trail, and the footage is, is locked straight in front on what I wanna be showing, the trail in front of my bike. On the flip side, if there's something I do wanna highlight off the trail, maybe there's wildlife running around with the chin mount, obviously very easy, I just have to turn my head, look at it, and I know it's right in frame. With the chest mount, you kind of have to do one of these things, you know, tilt your whole body and hope that you're getting it in. Not to mention if you want to tilt the camera, look up and down a little bit, very easy to do that with your head, with 
with the chin mount, you're tilting your whole body. Uh, again, just hoping you're capturing whatever it is uh, in the frame. Okay, so beyond footage, I'm gonna go over some other pros and cons, and I think most importantly, I'll start with ease of use. Now, I had not anticipated this one at all when I first rode with the chin mount. If I need to look at something, review something on the GoPro, it's super easy with the chesty. I just look down, uh, and, and I can see it. When I start out on a trail, I push record, and there's this little red light that flashes. I can look down. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of a trail, I think, dang it, did I hit record? I can simply look down, see that I did. None of that is possible with the chin mount. I can't even see the GoPro, much less a little red light flashing on it. Uh, you know, if I'm riding with other people, I can ask them, hey, my recording, my, is the red light on? Um, otherwise, I have to probably take the helmet off, which is super annoying, um, or I can get my phone out, connect to the GoPro Quick app, see if I'm recording, or use the camera like a mirror um, to see if the red light's flashing. The same can be said for either of these if you just wanna check the battery life on your GoPro. It's much easier on the chest. And very much the same story when you just need to change a battery out on the trail. Uh, with the chesty, everything is right here. It's easy. I can open up the battery port, take the old battery out, pop a new one in. I'm done. Super easy. Without being able to see the GoPro, it's very difficult to do that same thing. Honestly, what I'd probably end up doing on the trail is taking the helmet off so I can access the GoPro and change the battery. And I can get a drink uh, in the full face. It's just awkward at best. Now, if you occasionally spit off the side of the trail while biking, some people do it, this ain't gonna work. Lastly, a pros and cons list for these would not be complete without touching on general comfort. For me, um, you know, the traditional half face helmet is uh, much more comfortable than the full face. Airflow is better so it breathes better, your field of vision is much more open, and I just feel less constrained overall. I guess I'd have to say that the chesty is more comfortable than the chin mount on the full face helmet. That being said, the chesty is not perfect either. You have to wear these straps pretty darn tight so that as you're going over the trail, especially really technical sections, this isn't flopping all over, right? Going over rocks, it, it, it flops around if you don't have it um, sufficiently tight. Um, and, and it's just hot too, you know, on hot and humid days, it, I just want to take it off when I'm done. Um, that's the best part of any ride almost when I'm done and I take this thing off. All right, so am I gonna change my setup? No, I am not gonna change my setup. For me, the benefits of the chesty greatly outweigh those of the chin mount. Uh, it's just a more comfortable, more user-friendly option, and I gotta keep the stress and the hassle low so that the enjoyment of my rides stays high. Uh, it's true that the chin mount will offer fractionally smoother footage, um, but it definitely comes with drawbacks. I could see myself using the chin mount when I go to downhill parks, places like Spirit Mountain, Giants Ridge, you know, places like that. Anyhow, I hope this was insightful. I hope it helps you make an informed decision if you're looking to film some of your mountain bike rides. Uh, and I'd love to hear some feedback. Did you notice a big difference between either option? Did they just look the same to you? Uh, leave some comments down below. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you next time. How's that? Good.